Want to know what light I use to light paint? Good, because I'm going to tell you. What's up guys, it's Shooting Dave here. Now, I'm not gonna go into what light painting is, I'm just gonna talk about the light itself. So if you wanna check out light painting videos and what that is and how you edit them and shoot them, etc., check out one of the videos up here. For now, I'm just gonna talk about the light itself. So here we have it. This is the Camera Plus CP MTL2 light stick. Uh, all the branding is worn off, so I can't really remember what it's called off the top of my head, but I know enough of you have been asking that you want to know what it is. Well. This is the light. It's a long light tube, very, very bright, has different intensity modes, also has a CTO cover which goes over it so you can change your light color from 3500 Kelvin to 5500 Kelvin, which is handy when you want to balance daylight with street lamps, for instance. Now, I've been using this probably on and off for the last five or six years now. Um, it has stuck with me. I've bought a few lights, including the Young Neuro Wine 360 two or something like that above me, which I'm using actually to film on, um, but I just don't like the power output of that. I much prefer using this one, and yeah, I think this is a much better light. It has been heavily modified by myself. Uh, you'll note that there's some uh, nice black tape down the back. Now, I did that personally because the light from this tends to bleed and come out the back of the light as well. So when you're light painting your shots, you don't really want that extra spill. It just gets a bit messy. And so I did that to control it. I also tried putting some black card. When you take the cap off, with the longest thread in the world, I tried putting some black card down the inside as well to help combat the light spill. So you can get these on Amazon. I think I picked mine up for about 80 or 90 pounds. I think uh, Car Camera Rig make their own branded version. I know there's a Westcott out there who've got the Ice Light and the Ice Light 2. I've not tried either of those, so I can't really compare this for those. But this has served me well. This is the light that I use the most. It's thin, but so that means you can actually get a nice thin light through the, light, uh, through the scene. Or you can actually have it vertically and get a nice broad and wide light. It's a really useful, versatile light. When I lo looked at it on Amazon, I actually thought it was made from plastic. Pretty relieved to find out that it's made from metal. Um, weighs probably about just under a kilo, I should imagine, and it fits nicely into your hand luggage. So I take this everywhere that I go for shooting, be it light painting, be it gap built events, or you know, to someone's garage to photograph a cool car. And a nice bonus um, feature of this is it's actually a very good video light as well. It's bright and powerful. You can bounce it off of a white wall if you so desire. So you can get that nice extra feel light. Or you can put it in some, inside something like a Westcott Apollo softbox, which I'm using right now. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all those other YouTuber things that they tell you to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Jesus, this thing is bright. Basically a lightsaber.